What's up, YouTube? Got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Recess Charm. Finally. Finally, finally. The Recess Charm. So, uh, I have had the uh, super awesome opportunity to have uh, been able to play several different prototypes of the Charm. Um, this one actually isn't mine. This belongs to my buddy Kai Zizen. Uh, you may know Kai from uh, being really good at yo-yo, and uh, this is actually his charm that uh, he let me borrow to review for Yin's guys. So uh, thanks, Kai. You're awesome. Uh, so the charm is Recess's uh, newest release. I don't even think it's hit all the stores yet. It's only out in two colors. Uh, I know for a fact they do have them at SW Randall Toys. Uh, they run 120 bucks. Um, SW Randall has both this blue one and the red black the fire looking one here's a picture so they have both of them in stock at sw randall and you can call and order them from sw randall if you would so desire i think they even ship them for free so uh number and link and everything down in the description for sw randall call ask them say hey i want to order a charm and uh they'll take care of you uh tell them i sent you tell them i said hi they're newest competition yo-yo for the longest time uh, all of their team has been competing with the uh vacation and i know that uh they all the whole team had really been looking forward to the release of the charm uh because they were really looking forward to getting a sort of wider and new competition oriented throw to use uh so the first two colors are out of the charm finally and uh got to say this thing is awesome uh the charm is really in my opinion what modern competition yo-yos ought to be at least as far as bimetal modern competition yo-yos ought to be uh if you ask kai he'll tell you that it's going to be titanium here very soon and that's going to be the way but for right now bimetal wide light nimble fast but still stable and the charm is all of those things so Let's kind of compare it. First, before we compare it, let's talk about the specs. Uh, weighs in at 64.6 grams, which in my opinion is a very good weight. Uh, nice and light uh, and nimble, uh, but still bimetal, so it's very stable. Uh, diameter is 55.10 millimeters. The gap width, or the width is 46.7 uh, millimeters. So it's pretty wide yo-yo, and I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Uh, and the bearing, the gap width in the bearing is 4.4 uh, millimeters. So um, pretty wide yo-yo, uh, I wouldn't call it big, but it's certainly that sort of flared W shape, think the edge, think, um, you know, the Countach, but this one is a little bit more rounded over, got some nice roundings where there would otherwise be sharp edges, it's just very, like, rounded over and soft, easy to carry, in your hand, very comfortable in the hand, a nice, uh, just a nice, good, a nice, good, comfortable shape, uh, but, performs monstrously rings are inside there uh this is different from the previous recess bimetals they were clamped on the end before uh, i actually prefer this i think i think the it makes the weight distribution feel a little more controllable in my opinion but still adds a ton of rim weight and a ton of stability so i'm a big fan rachel's here uh so here it is next to uh the manatee as you can see very similar uh, diameter to the manatee manatee is a little bit wider but I mean these are pretty close I'd say maybe the manatee is half a millimeter wider so uh, kind of like my first play of the of this whenever I got to play the actual production model was oh man this is my favorite version of it I'm glad they went with this and two it really plays like a lighter bimetal manatee would play so uh, if you like the way the manatee plays, but you're like, man, I wish it had more power and was a little bit lighter and, you know, was maybe a little more stable. Not that the manatee's not stable or anything like that. Uh, this is sort of that improved version, in my opinion, uh, as far as performance is concerned. So, it plays very much like that, but kind of takes it up a notch to, you know, Im improve spin times, improve stability, improve performance, and it's lighter, more nimble, quicker. Uh... I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the recess team is going to tear it up with this. And they already have. They kind of took over VA States. And I think they all use this to to, uh, to do that and more or less uh, 
they had all just sort of been handed this final version of it before they walked on the stage. So uh, look for the recess team to be using this pretty much exclusively and to pretty much be tearing through uh, contests with it. I think not using it in a contest is going to give other competitors, not using this or something like this. Uh, I talked about that with the SF uh, Bliss, something like that, a very new you know, modern performance driven by metal uh, is going to give uh, other competitors disadvantages because this is just that easy to use. But uh, let's go throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about and we'll go from there. All right, and we are back with the recess charm. So in my estimation, kind of the best way to put it is that this yo-yo is easy to use. Like it just sort of does what I want it to do. It's wide enough that it's not hard to hit stuff. And it just sort of, it binds when I want it to. It doesn't bind when I don't want it to. And as far as competition yo-yos are concerned, this is, this is, this is it. Like, this is where modern competition is. Uh, kind of not any kind of gimmick for anything, but sort of, especially for the recess team, they have so many different kinds of players. And they don't do a whole ton of yo-yo releases. Like, everybody doesn't get their own signature, at least not yet. Uh, so when they do a yo-yo like this, it sort of ends up being everybody's competition yo-yo that's on their team. And they have some great competitors. You know, Bergie's on that team. I mean, he won, what, second this year at Worlds. Uh, Kai's, on, Kai's Zizen's on that team. Kai's awesome. He's really good. Uh, John Wolf is on that team. John Wolf is a 2016 5A national champion. Uh, I'd be shocked if he wasn't a really high-placing 5A champion again in 2018 and or at least you know winning the whole freaking thing he probably will he's just that good john's crazy good uh you know and you know the list goes on and on now it's just the charm and uh i, I gotta say it's uh it's pretty special it just sort of is this is what uh what i think recess needed to release in my opinion, like I, I've sort of been waiting for to see what Roads Recess is going to do next. You know, they they did the uh, the updated Joyride, which was great, but not really competition oriented. And they have a lot of competition players. Uh, they've you know redone and put out new first bases, which is great. I think Recess does a really good job uh, trying to grow the community from the bottom up. You know, with their releases, uh, and you know, but. I was looking because I'm friends with a lot of the guys on the team because, you know, Kai and John run our yo-yo club. Uh, I was looking for them to get something new to actually go and compete with and, and you know, wreck everybody's faces. Uh, saw everybody else getting signatures and it was, you know, only a matter of time before the recess team got something new to go slay everybody with. And the charm is it. Nice flat cap in there to... Uh, facilitate the finger spin nothing to get in your way no engravings in there i really like that uh very plain no engravings in the cup i like that it just looks clean and classy and this is a cup shape that recess usually uses actually uh, very often do they use cups that are just kind of plain the diplomat was like that and uh, now the charm sort of shares that the komodo is like that too uh, just overall simplistic design is uh something to be said about that you know it's like uh keep it simple the added sort of center weight because of that flat cup and no uh nipple or anything kind of adds a little bit of float to it which is nice it kind of makes it a little more nimble a little more controllable um but this thing can certainly go it's nice and light you can get it moving fast uh, i'm not a fast player but uh i anticipate seeing some uh some of the recessed guys blasting through some speed combos uh, with this bad boy as well. Which is going to be fun to watch, because those guys are always fun to watch. Uh, so, finger spins are good. Grind finish is nice. Uh, it's I'd say it's like a little more blasted feeling than uh, like the one drop pyramid would feel, but it's not quite as blasted as sort of those like chalky like powdery finishes. So it's sort of somewhere in between that like it's just nice it's almost it's not chalkboard it's just smooth you know what i mean it's just smooth and nice it grinds very well 
and uh, it's kind of unique. I, I kind of I'm I'm I've been digging it as far as how that works. It works very nice. Uh, this was Kai's, like I said, so I don't know if it's taken hits or anything. It looks pretty clean. It doesn't look like it's got any bangs or dings on it. Uh, it's pretty darn smooth. Uh, been taken apart a few times, but uh, smooth on the grind. I'd say that's 10 out of 10. 9.5, 10 out of 10. Pretty smooth. Most bimetals, usually you can find a little bit of vibe. Um, but this one pretty much, like, I'd say 9.5, almost 10 out of 10. Not really feeling much if any vibe at all it may actually just be from the string rubbing a little bit the gap is a little smaller it's about 4.4 4, uh, millimeters uh, usually they're about 4.5 or a little bigger so a little bit small on the gap i might just be feeling a little bit of rub there but uh really smooth yo-yo like just really smooth really nice the ones that sw randall the brand new fresh ones in the bot in the case uh are dead smooth played the the almost bought the one that looks like fire uh, it was dead smooth, perfectly smooth. Like I said, this one's Kai's, uh, and Kai played it a ton. You, that's pretty much all Kai does is play yo-yo, and uh, it's still, you know, played a lot by me, played a lot by Kai, taken apart a bunch, and still, still great. So uh, a lot to be said for the durability of recess yo-yos, and uh, how well they hold up. But. Uh, I mean, as far as all that's concerned, I mean, this is just really a nice all-around bimetal. No, the, there's really no thumb grind lip, but, I mean, you can get it. But the way the ring is situated, it's a little gross to touch. Because the ring's going to kind of, or the bimetal ring is going to kind of grind your thumb nail a little bit, which I find to feel gross, but there's totally enough room to do thumb grinds, if that's your thing. Um... Uh, which is pretty much a good for everything yo-yo. Yeah, I can't really see this being bad at anything. Or anybody playing badly with it. Like I said, easy to use. Easy to hit tricks. And that's really what you want in a competition bimetal. Is ease of use. Because you want to be focused on your tricks. Not the weird things that happen to your yo-yo. Yeah, yeah. But let's go ahead and throw it on the desk. We'll take it apart. I'll show you. I'll do pros and cons. Alright, we are back on the desk with the recess charm. So... Let's take it apart. Do pros and cons. Not, I mean, it's it's really a pretty simple design. Uh, no steps or anything like that. Everything's just sort of rounded over smooth to facilitate strings not dragging and no sharp edges or anything like that. Uh, I mean, just a really simple design, a really clean design. I like that. Um, this blue color is pretty common in competition. You know, it's like a blue-gray really shows up well. I was noticing that while I was filming with it. Uh, really, really shows up well. Uh, goes apart, screws apart nicely. Uh, no issues there. It's machined very nicely in that regard. Center track bearing. That super shiny one that Recess always uses. Spins great. Is great. Uh, you know, no, no real issues there. Uh, those smoky clear pads that everybody's using lately. Uh, I don't know if this is just kind of stock what the factory uses now because they're but whatever they are they're great uh i wish i could buy these pads to replace other pads that aren't these pads um so if anybody knows how to get these let me know so i can get some but these pads are great uh no issues there nice reliable response and that's what you want goes back together nice you know nice tight at the end a little tight twist it'll take it the axles uh not too short not too long doesn't feel like it's going to strip at all or anything like that. The logos all line up really nicely, too. Like we've, I know Kai's taking this apart. I just clearly just took it apart. And uh, logos still line up nice. So uh, really just overall good machining, nice design, simple design. But uh, everything is designed and works very well, which is something that I can really appreciate. Um, this is going to be a great yo-yo to learn new tricks on. This is going to be a great yo-yo to compete with because it's not going to get in your way. It's not going to hinder you. You're not going. There's no high walls to speak of that are going to slow your spin time down or anything like that. It's going to just be good for whatever you want to do with it and whatever you want to work on with it. So uh, with that being said, let's do some pros and cons. Pros. Nice grind finish. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite ever, but it's certainly uh, workable and it's very shiny and shows up nice. And I think that was part of the idea uh, as far as that goes more of an aesthetic thing to make sure that in competition it's very highly visible and shiny uh so it, it works there uh there are there are some uh engravings i'm usually not the biggest fan of engravings but the fact that these both line up really well 
and it's just they're kind of minimal on the side and not in the cup. Uh, I like that. I don't mind them. Uh, I like the design very well. The ring inside to me feels like that's the best way to do a bimetal. Like that's to me where the weight should be. At least that's the way it feels to me. I prefer it that way. Um, makes the AO kind of feel a little lighter and more nimble, but that's maybe that's just me. Uh, bearing is good. Uh, I mean, everything's just good. It's a it's a good yo yo. There's nothing. It's hard to have anything real bad to say about it. It's a solid competition oriented yo yo for a competition oriented team that certainly was. Uh, they could use something like this, is what I'm saying. So this, I plan to see the recess guys using this a lot this year. Um, as far as cons are concerned, uh, you know, it can, it's, it, because it's competition oriented, there's like not a whole lot of fun, frilly extra designs and cuts and things like that. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's, it's just very simple. Um, so if you like extra cuts and extra bumps and, and things like that, that kind of make weight distribution uh, a little more interesting sometimes, like, uh, here on the, uh, manatee, this isn't that, but, uh, I would say, really, that competitors who don't use a charm or something very similar to it to compete are putting themselves at a disadvantage. I kind of prefer, like, more blasted finishes like this, uh, but I understand why they did this. Uh, it's certainly more visible, uh, definitely shinier, and uh, it's still a decent grind finish, so no real solid complaints there. Just it's not my favorite grind finish, but I'm really grasping at straws just trying to find things to be like, eh, well, I wish this was different. I don't really necessarily wish, I just understand the difference. Um, but solid yo yo, cool yo yo from Recess. Check it out. Like I said, SW Randall definitely has them in stock. Give them a call, they will be happy to sell you one and ship it to you probably for free. Just say I said that they'd do it. Go ahead, tell them. I'd love to get yelled at later. It'll be fun. Anyway, so uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks to Kai for letting me borrow your yo-yo. I promise I didn't beat it up. I'll give it back to you in the same condition that it was given to me. Thanks, buddy. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. Wait, I got coffee. I'll see you next time.